Hello, my name is Leo. Welcome back to Alter Ego. In the last episode, we got married. Yay, we're married now. Actually, we, we joined a college. Yeah. Um, we bought a computer. Yeah. We, we asked a girl for a date. Had a date. Asked her to go study with her. Got the parents' permission. And got married. All in the space of like a day. Uh, but now, uh, this is going to be the last episode of Alter Ego for a while. If you do want more, let me know in the comments and I will play more in the future. But, today is the day, well actually technically tomorrow is the day. The Phantom Pain comes out. I can't wait to play it. So, um, uh, yeah, we're, I'm, I'm going to stop playing this game for a while. Uh, maybe sometime in the future I'll come back to it after Phantom Pain is, you know, I've done it and I want to do it. Uh, but anyway, now that we're married... Let's have kids. Fuck it, let's go the whole nine yards. Actually, you shouldn't have a... I'm sorry, you can only... I thought I was married. Oh, no, I'm not married yet. I'm engaged. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, we have to get married. Welcome to the marriage. Oh, yeah, we know. Ah, stop pressing enter! Okay. Um... Plan and have a wedding. Man, last episode was stressful. <laughs> it says I'm a, such a fine, upstanding individual. Everything went out, went down without a hitch. Marriage is a serious commitment, young man. One that should la uh, should last a lifetime. You sure you handle it? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> That's the attitude. Do the two of you want to have a large or small wedding? Let's have a small because I have no money. Okay, as long as the two of you have agreed on it, what kind of honeymoon would you like to have? Um, nice, romantic, not necessarily, no, quiet and simple. That sounds nice. What kind of area do the two of you eventually want to live? Near the city, near the suburbs, and the country. Let's go suburbs. Good old burbs. It's tough to find a decent place to live these days. You know, now that you have uh, thought about some of the major preparations, uh, the weeks fly by until your wedding date. The time that passes is crucial and can determine the future success of your entire marriage. Everyone has their share of problems during this time, unfortunately. This includes you, too. Approximately one week before the wedding, the following happens. Oh, shit. Your wife-to-be tells you that she wants to keep her maiden name. She's absolutely stubborn on the issue. Well, that's fine, because the wife who did that too. So I will accept it. Does this make you want to change your mind about the wedding? No, I could care less. Your wedding day seems to be going along perfectly. It will surely be a memorable occasion. Unfortunately, oh no. Tony gets called fit and live a second. <gasps> and leads me standing at the altar. Tony, you bitch! Oh! Oh, you bitch! Oh, am I still engaged? Oh, she left me! Oh, no! Oh, fuck, I'm gonna sue I'm gonna kill myself. There's a telephone call for you. Your father just had a heart attack. No! Oh, my life is going so terribly now. You are told to wait by the phone for further news. Three hours later, phone rings again. The doctor tried. No! The doctor's trying to mess with lost there. I'm sorry. Your father's passed away. Ah, oh, this is the worst day ever. In the forthcoming coming weeks, your family um, will stick close together trying to overcome the loss. Oh my god! Oh, I can't handle it. Do I actually have like a stress gauge? Um, a time is progressing, even though I'm not. Oh man, fuck! Ah, oh, that blue, that blue fucking chunks. Well, that was that was my foray into marriage. Let's go to university. <laughs> we'll make Tony. We'll, we'll become like a really hot shot businessman and make Tony wish he'd fucking marry me. 
God damn it, that bitch. Oh, then my father died. Ah. Oh. There's a way of earning extra money. A friend of yours suggests that you pose nude for a hunks of academia calendar being put together by some business majors. The fee for doing... Alright, let's do it. You are Mr. April. Alright. Um, their work, the work involved was funded for zero. When the calendar comes out, it creates a major campus controversy. As a result, oh no. The calendar is banned. Uh, I didn't get paid. Uh, everyone who posed... Everyone who posed for the calendar gains overnight celebrity status on campus. You are in high demand for dates. Alright. Yeah, baby. Alright, we're going back. We're going back. Alright, let's get a date again. Uh, you don't want to actually do any of the scenarios in this chapter? No. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill myself <laughs> if this next relationship doesn't go well. All right, let's meet someone. All right, who do you want to meet? Uh, let's go with Carol. Not Tony. Fuck Tony. Bitch. He's moderately attractive. Good enough for me. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Alright. So. Next, let's have a date. Okay. Oh my god. While I'm on a date with Carol, you discover what you have forgotten your wallet. What will you do? Oh no. Excuse yourself and ask a professional to give me an IU. You text an IU these days. You have a panic, panic strip look on your face. Panic strip and get honest. For Diana, dinner's on him. You really are some nice. Oh, nice! Oh, I'm, oh, stress has decreased. I'm feeling much better about my life. Alright, let's ask her to go study. This fails, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fucking end it. Alright, she's my steady girlfriend. Alright, cool. Cool. Good, good. Time to get married. <laughs> um, I like the other one, she's probably not going to. You know what? She's probably all like, oh, I wanna get married, I wanna get married, I wanna get married. And then when I actually came down to get married, she's like, oh I don't wanna get married. I'm going to spend a hundred dollars again. Let's ask for the blessing. Father likes me. Mother likes me. Mother likes me. Give me my blessing. I'm gonna propose. Uh, I do it my own way. I wish you could see what you would do. I trust that you will be creative, flattering, and much more tasteful. Now for the big moment, you might try to reject your proposal. Uh, uh, Six your proposal! Yay! Alright. Getting married is so easy these days. <laughs> well, you didn't get married last time. You said it was easy, but true. It's a good point. Alright, let's uh, get married. Alright. Marriage is this, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I can handle it. Let's do it. Uh, small wedding. Him. Honeymoon. Quite simple. 
Uh, you know what? Let's not even set it. Um, that's all. That's all this time. But something's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? Uh, you discover that Carol had a casual affair with a perfect stranger during a weak moment at some point during your engagement. Oh no. Uh, I, I want to get married though. But if this was if this is real life, I'd fucking kick that shit kick that shit to the curb. Uh, I'll let it pass now, but promise you might do it again. Oh no. Oh fuck you. Fuck everything. All right, we're at college. All right. I feel like at any moment I'm gonna get the call from the game shop. Telling me that my I can go pick up my copy of Crypto Phantom Pain. Oh man, that's why I'm kind of rushing through this, even though you know it's 15 minutes regardless. Uh, let's let's have a college experience. Oh damn. This semester you must decide where you would like to live now that you're in college. Let's live uh, in the dormitories. You are assigned a roommate named. Tony Castano. When you walk into the room, a beautiful, shapely brunette walks out of the bathroom, wrapped in just a towel. Her name is Tony. Wait. Looks like the people who assigned rooms made a bit of a mistake. Tony is the free spirited type. She says she will be willing to make the best of it if you are. Would you like to try? Is that Tony? Is that fucking Tony? Uh, okay. Do you think you would like to try anything romantic with her? Yes. Let's try to get back with her. I don't blame you. She is a fox, however, she is not that type of fox. She is madly in love with a tennis pro named who travels around the world and calls her about once a month. Be prepared to take a lot of cold showers. Oh. Wait, say so I, I got I got a date. With this girl named Tony, and I got engaged with her. The parents loved me. We got married. We were about to get married. She left me at the altar. Then my father died, and then I tried to get in another relationship. And that she also left me at the altar. Now I got a roommate, and it's fucking Tony. And I tried to get back with her, but she's in love with a tennis player who fucks her once a month. And ah. Alright, let's, let's fucking kill ourselves. Um, alright, let's have, let's have, let's have a life experience, shall we? What's my job? Do I don't work at the lawyer place? No. Where do I work? You work at, um, um, you're a, t a ticket taker. Oh, that's right. You have the opportunity to attend a conference that might provide you with information that will get you further ahead in your field. Alright, let's go to the conference. Cost is 500 bucks. Fuck it, let's go. Conference is boring and unsatisfying. You've wasted your money. Well. We'll be the first. Let's just keep going to college. By the way, am I getting older? Uh, yeah, um. I was 23 before. Oh wow, I'm 26 now. Yeah, I am getting older. Man, I'm getting, I'm getting really old. I'm still working as a ticket taker. Oh no, a note arrives in the mail from an ex-girlfriend. She's been thinking about you lately. Ah! I, I missed what it said. An ex-girlfriend, maybe Tony? Tony wants to get back with me? Yeah, we try one more time. We'll try one more time, and then I'll fucking kill myself in the face. You don't even know if it's Tony. I don't even know if the Tony that's my roommate is the real Tony. Is the Tony here? I think it is. All right, let's try it. <clears throat> um. Oh, she's only moderately attractive now. Wait, she's, she got less attractive? I guess so. Sure. Weird. 
All right, well, we're 15 minutes out, but I'm going to keep going a little bit longer because I want to do this. And then I will shoot myself in the face. Uh, go on a date. <sighs> You're sitting in Tony's living room, the lights are light, the TV is very cozy. Tony begins to get very romantic with your responding kind. She explains that she would really like to make love with you, but doesn't have any birth control. What will you do? Without a contract. Without a condom. Suggest that you will satisfy each other without having intercourse. Run to the drugstore, buy some condoms. Convince her that you will pull out before ejaculating and that will be that it will be safe. Um, let's run to the drugstore. <laughs> let's be let's I know I know we're probably not gonna play this game again, but let's be somewhat responsible here. After thirty after thirty five minutes, is that all? Oh, of searching, okay. I thought it was 35 minutes of sex. You finally find a drugstore that is open, let you purchase the condoms and rush back to Tony's house. She has fallen asleep in your living room and does not answer the door. You drive home disappointed. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Let's try to get engaged. Fuck it. No, you're going to be steady with her first. Uh, you should have just. You should have just done it without a rubber and gotten pregnant and then you would have had kids and she would have been, you know, victorious. Um, let's go study. Part of me wants you to reject me just so I can just go kill myself now. <laughs> Alright. Fuck you, Tony. Break it off. Go and start, bitch. I don't need you no more. Can you actually have multiple girlfriends? You and Tony haven't made the commitment. Oh, yeah, true, good point. Oh, that's me done. Um, I'm just gonna go kill myself now. Um. So, um. Uh, I guess I won't be playing Phantom Pain now, because I'm. Um, just gonna go off myself. Oh well. Never mind. <laughs> so that was uh, that was Alter Ego. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, to the person who requested that I play a little bit more of it, well, I hope you've had your fill. If you want even more of it, let me know and we'll play it sometime in the somewhat distant future. But for now, my name is Leo and I'll see you um, next time. Now, I'm just going to. Um, yeah, I'm just, just gonna go, I'm gonna go, kill myself, goodbye cool world.